everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And today we're going to go through a complete glute routine. Claudia's going to perform the workout with you, and I'm going to coach along the way. I've already done a few workouts today, so I'm just going to watch and coach if that's okay with you. Typical? Typical. <laughs> so the only equipment you're going to need for today is either a pair of dumbbells or a kettlebell, doesn't matter which one, and either a chair, step, or box. You'll see us using the plyo box today. All right, we're going to get right into it with a one and a quarter sumo deadlift. Claudia, you want to go ahead and grab your dumbbell. She's going to be using the dumbbells, like I said. Kettlebell works great as well. Feet are wide. Toes are pointed out just a little bit. She's going to bend her hips back first, sitting back. Good. All the way to your hips are parallel with the ground. You're going to go up a quarter of the way and then back down. On and then back up. So it's one. Go ahead, one. Quarter. Back down and back up. I know it's a little bit confusing, but what we're doing is we're putting extra emphasis on the glutes back there. We're going to do eight repetitions. So go ahead and work at your own pace, hitting eight reps. What is that? Uh, four for you, Claudia? Four. four. Good. Yeah. Yep. So weight's back in her hips. Nice. Really press it back. Feel it back here. You don't want it on your knees. You don't want to be on your toes. Nice. Good. Really pressing your weight back every time. Driving off your heels on this one. Nice, almost there. I definitely try to wiggle my toes a little bit just to make sure I'm not putting any weight on them. That's a good good technique, keeping your toes nice and loose. Yeah. Good. This last one. And here's eight. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and set those dumbbells down. I know Claudia's okay. gonna want a mat for this one. You can if you choose to do so just for comfort. We're gonna do a frog hip thruster. So lying down on your back. Thank with your you. feet together, knees pointed out, good, and we're going to raise your hips up off the ground, squeeze your glutes up at the top and back down, good, so up and down, we're hitting 12 of these every time, driving those glutes up and squeezing up at the top. If you really want to get your glutes, you have to like focus and think about it, because a lot of times you know, the quads become dominant in certain movements. So we really have to make those glutes fire. Good, we'll hit 12 repetitions on this one. We'll let you go ahead and count and work at your own pace. Nice. Which one are you on, Claudia? Eight. Eight, nice, almost there. Keep pushing, keep working. Good. Almost there. 11. Last one. The last one. Good, okay, so we're gonna stay on the ground for the next one. We're gonna move into an alternating one leg hip up. So Claudia's has her feet flat on the ground, hands at her side, she's gonna, with one leg, drive off her heel, bring her hips up, knee comes up with, and then alternate the other side. So we're alternating, we're gonna do eight on each. Bring those hips up until your back and your lower body is straight and not in a nice line. You don't wanna hyper extend, you just wanna squeeze those glutes up at the top, driving off that heel. You hopefully feel this one the most in your hamstring, and in your glutes, if you feel more lower back, it's probably because you're arching. So try not to arch. Get that core tight at the same time. Good. 11. So that's 12. We're going to meet on each side. So we're going to 16 in total. Depends on how you want to count. Good. Keep it up. The key is on this one. We're going to go one right into the next. We're going to keep that pace and up. 16. And then 16. Okay, good. Up. Oh, come on, let's get up. And we're going to move on to a hip hinge, one leg hip hinge. Keep this mat out of the way. Claudia's going to grab her dumbbells. Okay. Claudia, go ahead and get into position. She's going to put one leg up on her box, whether you're using a chair, box, whatever that may be. This will definitely get some balance at the same time. So a little bend in her knee, and she's going to bend over only at her waist. Keep it a little bit in her knee, bend over at her waist to the shin, and back up. Good. So this one takes a few reps to get the hang of, but we're bending, really bringing these hips back, only a slight bend here, and then squeezing the glutes up at the top. Good. It really helps on this one if you keep a focal point, find a place for your eyes. We're doing eight repetitions on each leg on this one. Sorry for not saying so beforehand. Good. Breathe. It's another good one to isolate anytime you can have one leg at a time. Work. Which one is that, Claudia? I think that's seven. Seven. I'm doing a terrible job holding your counts. <laughs> okay, go ahead and switch. 
when you get to eight, we're doing eight on each leg. Good. Catching your balance, find that focal point. Good posture. Back and core is straight. One leg, hip hinge. Good. Or, as I like to refer to it as the bend and snap. The bend and, the bend and snap works. Is that the legally blind? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have acted like I knew that. <laughs> I've never seen that movie, I promise. Yeah. Okay. Busted. Six. Keep it up. You have eight on each leg. Stay Seven. focused, unlike us. Looking straight ahead. Eight. Nice. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and get this box out of your way. We're going to, if you're using a mat, go ahead and get it back out. We're going to the ground. The key to good glute training is really just hitting them with one movement right back to back and keeping that constant tension. So we're going to do one leg at a time on this one. Go ahead and come up into a, a hamstring curl by you. So bring your knee up to a 90 degree angle. And now we're only going to curl and bend here at the knee. So straighten it out and curl back. Excellent. Good. So we're going to do this movement, this hamstring curl, 12 times. Good. Try your best to keep your back straight. Or tight. So let's come this way a little bit. There, good. Definitely harder when you're keeping everything parallel to the ground. All right, buddy? You feel it? I can definitely feel it. Definitely. She feels it. So we're doing 12. Let me know when you're there, Claudia. And 12. 12. Okay, good. Let's move on to a hamstring curl pulse. We're going to do 12 little mini pulses right there. Perfect. Just squeezing the glutes and hamstring. Nice. Little movement, just a pulse, just a pulse 12 times. Okay. Nice, okay. And then we're gonna move right into a fire hydrant. So let's go from- On the same side. Same side. Okay. So bring it up your same side leg, kicking out to the side, keeping that knee bent in a 90 degree angle. This one's gonna really work your gluteus medius here on the side. Nice. Get you that nice full round glue. Nice work. We're hitting 12 here as well. So we're doing one side at a time. Your glutes are going to be burning by the time we're done with this sequence. If that's okay. That's how we know it's working. 12. And 12. So now we're hitting 12 pulses. Nice. Good. A little more range of motion on that pulse. A little more. There it is. Perfect. Hit it, hit it, hit it. All right. And now mule kicks on that same side. Kick back. Good. And try to bring that heel and foot to the ceiling. When you're trying to press your foot uh, flat on the ceiling above. I know you're not going to quite hit it. It's okay. It's just a figure of speed. Good. Squeezing those glutes up at the top. Trying to do back straight. Nice. Again, we're hitting 12, and then you guessed it, 12 pulses right afterwards. Nice work. Nice. Feeling the burn. Here we go. She went right into those 12 pulses. When you're done with your 12 reps, into the pulses. Good. Woo. All right, nice work. Okay, Claudia, I'm going to have you switch sides. Okay. Or, or, or just turn over. Just, yeah, get rid of it. And now it's time to hit the other leg, everybody. That means we're starting with that hand, bird dog hamstring curl. So it's a hamstring curl, only bending at the knee. Excellent. Perfect. It's 12 reps. I'm sure you have the hang of it by now, unfortunately. Good. Keep breathing throughout. Almost there, fighting through that burn. And 12 pulses after you hit your 12 curls. Nice work, come on, keep it going. Think about how good you're gonna feel when this is all said and done. Right into the fire hydrants when you're all done. 12 off to the side. Really trying your best the whole time to keep your entire upper body and core uh, parallel to the ground. Nice, keep it up. All those boots feeling, Claudia? They are on fire. Perfect. Don't talk to me. I'm trying to, you can't hear it. Let's see. I know, I'm doing a terrible job. I'm, what kind of personal trainer am I? Let's go ahead and keep that knee up a little more to the side. There we go. And nice. Good. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, we're right into the mule kicks. Keep it going. Excellent work. This is a routine that you can actually come back and repeat if you're uh, trying to build up your glutes and uh, you want to hit them with some more volume, some extra volume, you can do this routine two to three times per week. Come back, hit it up. You will see a difference in between two to four weeks. I promise you that. Nice. Come on, keep it up. Let's go. Nice little movements. Little pulses hit it. Woo! Okay. That is the end of the first round, my friends. 
You mean there's more rounds? Yeah, one more round. Take a quick <laughs> breath. If you want to grab some water, feel free to do so. Shake it out a little bit. Shake it out. That's what I feel like doing. Well, you know, that's how we know it's working. It's true. Okay, remember, we're going to get back started with that one and a quarter sumo deadlift. Grab your weights, whether you're using dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever that may be. We have eight repetitions on this one, but really it feels like more because you're doing that one and a quarter every time. Yes, especially with the added weight. It really just kicks it up a notch. Taking the lead, buddy. It's all you. Sitting back, weight backs in her hips. And here we go, one and a quarter. Really putting that emphasis on your backside. Nice. And something I want Claudia to try here. Go ahead and take your shoes off for me, would you, Claudia? Sure. And that's because I noticed her shoes kind of getting up a little forward onto her toes. It makes, sometimes it makes it a little harder to emphasize your glutes. If you feel like you have a pair of running shoes or shoes that are uh, you know, more made to put you at a, uh, an angle or put your body weight over your knees, it's a technique you may want to try. Remember, we have eight repetitions of this one. You may find it's easier to go ahead and drive off your heels and uh, engage and activate your glutes. Excellent work. Good. Eight. And that's eight. Okay, so we're moving on to that frog. Hit up. Or frog hip thruster, I should say. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, right into it. Feet are together. Driving off, legs are open, and up. We have 12 reps on this one, squeezing the glutes on every single one. Good. As you stay focused, stay motivated on what drives you, what brought you here today. Let's go. Nice work, Claudia. Keep pushing. All right. And moving on, we're going to uh, go into the alternating one leg hip ups. So driving off that heel. And then knee up, squeezing that glute and that hamstring. Nice work. Fighting through that burn. The glutes are catching on fire, but that's okay. Even though it really feels like I'm not getting a lot of range of motion, can you tell me that I am? Can you you are, yeah. I mean, it's true. Uh, you know, you're probably only going to get between uh, two to three inches off the ground, but that's totally okay if you think about. Uh, you're driving your entire body weight up off the ground with just one leg. Woo. So plenty of resistance on this one. Actually, much more resistance on this one than even uh, on the movement that you're doing with the dumbbells. Just because anytime you can move your body weight. And then last one. Excellent. Okay, good. And we're going to grab you your chair, box step, whatever it is you have for the next one. And we are going to do our one leg hip hinge. I think this is probably the toughest one. I is it know. okay if I leave my shoes off or you want to put them back on? Uh, go ahead and leave them I think we can go and leave them off. Unless okay. You yeah, I think it's probably okay for this one. Again, it'll just help her to keep her weight evenly distributed so she's not over her toes. Good. I'd say this is, for me, is probably the hardest one in this workout. I don't know. What do you think, buddy? It's a pretty tough one. I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. There's so many things going on. You the balance. Stability and again, anytime you can put all of your body weight on one, either one arm or one leg, it's going to be a good move. <laughs> so it's eight on each leg. Nice work. Keep going, breathing, a little bend in that knee, hips back, hips forward, squeeze your glutes up top. Woo. Claudia's doing a good job of coming up and just seeing straight up. It's really easy sometimes when you're trying to emphasize your glutes to come up and overextend and come forward, but you don't want to do that because actually really what that ends up doing is just cranking your back, your lower back. So it comes just straight up and down, perpendicular to the ground, and squeezing those glutes up at the top. Nice work. Again, eight on each leg. Almost there. Breathe. Keeping that pace up. And last one. Excellent work. Okay, so we're done with your weights. You can step those to the side. You're using a mat. Now's the time to grab it. We're going back to that brutal, brutal little pulse <laughs> reps, high rep sequence. Oh my goodness. All right, here it is. Home stretch, guys. Let's get it. 
Okay, we're going right into that hands, bird dog hamstring curl. There it is. Looking great. Nice. One of the things we found with Claudia is that uh, naturally her quads tend to take over in movement. So whether she's doing squats or lunges, her quads tend to take over. And so we've been doing extra just glute training to make sure we get those glutes activated and to help her uh, use those muscles in those sometimes quad dominant movements. So moving on now to the fire height trigger. So it's 12 hamstring curls, 12 hamstring curl pulses, 12 fire hydrants, 12 fire hydrant pulses, and then we move on to mule kicks. Good. Claudia's in the zone now, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the zone. Hope you are too. Keep pushing, we're almost there. Let's go. 11 and 12. Nice, okay. Woo. Into the mule kicks, let's go. Right, that one side's almost done. Good. Nice, full range of motion Claudia's getting. Six. Don't, this last little inch, try not to bend that back in. Perfect, there we go, good. So it gets really easy when you're trying to emphasize that top half to get that hyperextension in the lower back. Try your best to keep that back straight and flat. Two. Now we have the mule kick pulses 12 times. Getting close, everybody. Wow. Getting close. Okay. Last side. Here we go. Hit the other side. Hamstring curl. Let's hit it. Get that pace up. Almost done. Home stretch, everybody. Home stretch. Get, come back. Repeat this workout. Get a little bit better every time. You can up your weight that you're using. You can even up the reps if you choose to do so. Good, now she's into the hamstring pulses. All right, keep it up, keep it up, let's go. 12. And fire hydrants. Ooh, my least right. favorite. And it's oftentimes that one that's the least favorite is the one that's the biggest weakness. That's the one that you need to work on the most sometimes. So I guess we know what Claudia needs to work on. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Gotta attack those weaknesses, not avoid them. 11 and 12, moving on to the pulses. Nice, nice. Turn those hips to this side and now come. Nice, there we go, good. Still trying to keep those hips parallel to the ground. All right, last one, here we go. Mule kicks, good. Home stretch, here it is. Getting after Those buns are gonna feel so good after this. We are sitting down tomorrow. Ten. Or going upstairs. Or, or just hanging out with your child on the ground. Or just hanging out with your child on the ground. Whatever it may be. Seven. It's gonna be eight, worth it. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Nice. That's Woo. it right there. Success. Excellent work. I hope you up. See you Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. Thank you. <laughs> Husbands appreciate it. <laughs> The, the work. So, thank you so much for joining us today. If you did like this workout, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up yep. and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's really the major thing that helps us keep this great service free. Absolutely. And if you did like this workout, check out hasfit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and free complete fitness programs. Make sure you Follow us on whatever social media platform you're on. We're all there. Yeah, we're there all day, every day on all of them. So make sure to check us out. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for sweating with me. Yes, I, I you know, I'm, I'm dry. Took it easy today. Yeah, well, hey, you guys did all the work. Thank you so much for working out with us. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.